Hi, I'm Ali Del Cuesta. I'm the art director with Art So Wonderful, and we're here at the closing reception uh, for our Fair Housing Month exhibition with so CVOEO and Art So Wonderful. We're super excited. We have the artists coming. The mayor is going to come as well. Um, we're going to announce our winners. So thank you so much. Welcome, everybody. We're so excited to be here in Burlington City Hall to celebrate some wonderful artists and an amazing exhibit that's been going on all month here. Um, it, this exhibit is a partnership of Art So Wonderful, CVOEO, the Champlain Valley Office of Economics Opportunities Fair Housing Project, and Burlington City Arts. And we are here to celebrate Fair Housing Month, and it is my honor to turn the mic over to our mayor, Emma Mulvaney Stenick. Thank you, Jess, and thanks everyone for being here. Uh, it's so, first of all, uh, I'm Mayor Emma Mulvaney Stanek. I'm excited to be here to not only uh, mark the end of house, um, Fair Housing Awareness Month, um, but to really commend the artists and the creative energy uh, that we have here in the city of Burlington, and frankly, just brightening our city space here in City Hall. Um, art is such a critical part of any healthy community, um, but being able to invite this creativity into a city building uh, where folks can be able to interact with it, um, experience it, and then reflect, frankly, on what uh, the theme has really been around what has inspired these artists around fair housing. And so I'm just going to read this first little bit here to, to explain a little bit more of what we're here for for ha Fair Housing Month. Each April, the Fair Housing Project of CVOEO partners with housing providers, community organizations, libraries, and art organizations across Vermont to honor the 1968 passage of the Fair ha uh, Housing Act on the federal level with education and outreach work. We do this through public education series, neighborhood discussions, virtual panels, and art events to raise awareness around housing discrimination in Vermont and the positive role that inclusive, affordable housing plays in thriving communities. And I'll just wrap by saying, um, when we talk about housing discrimination, it especially in a, in a community like Burlington that has such a low vacancy rate with housing, um, it makes it very hard sometimes to be able to name the fact that housing discrimination is a real thing. Um, it still happens in 2024. And I think events like this and whole months like this where we can raise the level of awareness so tenants can know their rights, um, both in the, on a local level on a state level and most importantly on a federal level that creates safer and stronger communities and so I'm happy to be here today with everyone and I'm going to pass it over um, to the uh, director right <laughs> Ali thank you so much uh, and thank you so much we're super excited to be here to display uh, a variety of wonderful artists from our community art so wonderful is a local nonprofit beautifying the community with murals events um, and a variety of artistic uh, community activations um, so we're so excited and we're going to be announcing our first through third winner and a community pick in first place we have Neve O'Connor um, if you want to come up and say hello real quick Here you go, we'll give you first place. Thank you so Thank much. You. And then in second place, we have Abby Mercer. Come on up. Nice. In third place, we have Caitlin Dunshi, who's not able to be here. Yeah, for her. Yeah, Woo! <laughs> and then as our people's choice, we have uh, World Cal, who's an incredible uh, street artist, who's also not able to be here. But woo! Yay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Neve O'Connor and I'm here at City Hall in Burlington, Vermont. I um, actually won first place today for our Fair Housing Art Competition for CVOEO uh, for Fair Housing in Burlington, Vermont. Um, I used mixed media for my piece, it's trying to elicit uh, feelings of security, comfort, um, in a time where housing shortage and scarcity is very felt in the streets of Burlington. It found it very important to tr transfer those feelings into um, some nonverbal or to some feeling tones. So I'm um, very grateful to be involved and thank you to everyone at Fair Housing. Hi, I'm Abby and this is my piece called Home is Where the Heart Is that I'm doing for CVOEO with Art So Wonderful. And I made a piece that felt like it embodied what it feels like to be at home or to be with people that make home feel special for you.
Hi, I'm Ali Della Cuesta, the art director with Art So Wonderful, a local nonprofit that's beautifying the community with murals and community events. Um, I'm here for our fair housing exhibition in partnership with CVOEO. Um, I'm also an artist with the exhibition, and here's my piece. We presented awards um, with Neve O'Connor, Abby Mercer, and Caitlin Dunshi as the winners. Um, I'm super excited, and it was great to have the mayor part of the event for voting.